Now, let's review a little bit about the first maximum normal stress theory, which we call MNST. And this one is particularly for fracture failure, okay, for brittle materials. Uh, let's continue from our previous uh, uh, movie that from our complicated uh, stress analysis of our complicated part system, we come out to a three-dimensional uh, stress status. Uh, principal stresses, those are sigma one, sigma two, and uh, sigma three. Okay, this is our real part situation. So on the other hand, we have the standard test, tensile test, okay, or compression test, unixo, basically this unixo loading test, uh, test. And we can figure out the principal stress, stresses in sigma one, which is obviously in this case force divided by A area, and sigma two and sigma three, which are both zero. Okay, so when failure happens, particularly for this, uh, for this unixo loading case, if this principal stress reaches the limit, and for this case, that is the ultimate strength. Okay, so we have two situations. If it's under tension, when sigma one is larger than the tensile strength, then failure happens. Or for the compression, uh, compressive case, if sigma three is smaller, is further negative than the uh, uh, ultimate compressive stress, then failure happens. So this gives us such a definition that our part fails if our sigma one, which is the largest normal stress, okay, equals, of course, including uh, l larger than, so equals the maximum normal stress in this tensile stress case. Okay, when failure happens to this case, then we consider, uh -huh, our part start to failure, to fail. On the other hand, if this whole thing's under compression, so if our sigma three, which is the most negative one, okay, when this one equals or even further uh, negative than the compressive stress in the unit axial loading case when failure happens to this case. So basically we use sigma one and sigma three as the criteria for failure. So this is uh, the failure, failure criteria as I mentioned over here, okay? So on the other hand, if we switch this unequal sign, okay, we, de we, we, we got the design criteria, which are the following. So if our stress is smaller than the strength, and here we divide the strength by fact of safety, NS, NS is fact of safety. Okay, the top is under tension, the bottom is for compression. They both we have this uh, uh, strength divided by effect of safety. Okay, and we call sigma one, sigma three are working stresses, okay? But the uh, strength over here, see I point out to this SUC, that means this is allowable stress. So the maximum stress that can go is the limit. It is the strength of the material. And here, we, why do we uh, still allow the equal sign? Because here uh, we have effective safety. Effective safety is given to us. This is the effective safety is the margin, okay, for a part uh, stress state to failure. So we have a certain margin over here. All right. Now, what is the safe region? The safe region can be defined by the principal stresses. And you see here, sigma one basically is going to the positive side. So we, we can allow sigma one reach the uh, ultimate strength. And on the other hand, we allow sigma three reaches the ultimate strength in compression. However, in general, we rather than using sigma one and sigma three, we just use sigma A and sigma B. Well, we allow sigma A and B to continuous change from one direction to the other. So then we get a regime or a range of safe design. Basically, you see sigma A, okay, sigma A, when sigma A is uh, uh, negative, it goes to this side. So it cannot be further negative than the compressive uh, uh, uni axle, uni axle compressive uh, ultimate strength. On this side, sigma A cannot go beyond the uh, uni axle tensile ultimate strength on the, this side. 
Okay, so, uh, same thing for sigma b because we can we can consider sigma a as the as the uh, you know x direction or sigma one, and we can consider uh, sigma b in the y direction. It could also be sigma one, could also be sigma uh, three. So uh, you know we that's why we can uh, our a safe regime becomes a area. Okay, so this is for the first uh, criteria that is maximum normal stress theory.